Well, set up now that Soulcast has a bit of a one-way smoke. It has been the timing. No one was watching for that one. Bustio has already looked his way through. Trips being caught as well from Boombot. Nax catching that timing, pushing through the smoke, finding a kill. And that's now great. Life. That helps the rest of his team control Arcade for the retake. Really quite important, a bit of a tap onto the spike to try and force out that util again, another fight to be taken, running and gunning is the name of the game here for save. Trailblazer now trying to supplement, pushing forwards as well, but that's a double face, EG. Sure that they've got good control over this one, left it up to just Redgar. Sole player from Arcade, he was spotted out earlier from Demon 1. And yeah, EG, not the kind of team that are going to be leaving any gaps in the play. You can see it already with the high-low setup. Should be clean, and it is at that. Quite Push as well, this re-clearance through into main. Turret's going to be tacked in that one. It's a, well, Satchel, Jordamo jumps on the opportunity. Strikes, and he's rewarded with the kill onto Yampi. Here's another re-clearance. Halls, the door's opened up. They're going to be aware of this. Lucio's just holding it quite delayed. The spray transfer. That's... Cheeky little two-piece, might have done enough as well to salvage some portion of this round because he's brought it to a three versus three. I think that is the play that potentially saves things for Liquid, you're right. Because if he falls there, the whole of the A-site completely open. Now EG has to do a little more. Save still has full utility here, tucked into such an unusual spot at back dice. Jorgamo has nade for it. You see players do use it in that portion. Safe underhand nade as well, preventing a deep push as well, but it is the tight squeeze. Wrapped around, Com pushing past it now. Now the shock in his face. Shock does to try and clear through. Not shying away from the fight, is he? Takes it straight to tower and regains control of this one. Left up to Nats and low enough that a single bullet will do it. There's another bonus round for you. A little bit too aggressive. They attempted to pivot there. I mean, Nats is so nice. Sharon, Marshall. One before being traded. Site is going to be theirs though, so she should be able to get this plan down. But this is a major opportunity for Team Liquid to strike back quickly. Here are the ults though. And they're not going to be aware of this at all. This is actually a lovely play. I quite like this. I don't think Com's going to be expecting it. Ooh, shots whipping though. No. Okay, rifle aim. They know the tower's compromised. Ziampi up there. Nana swarms though to delay even further. Ethan just left to hold it down. Satchel pushing back again. The Nana swarm kill. Bustio. No time. Bit. No time. Six bullets. Stop this reflank attempt as well. He's an important one. Trying to take contact into two of these players. Loses his duel. So they lose the backside of Hall. Slowly losing positioning over this post plat. Pushing him up onto the site. Here's a showstopper. Let it rip close though. Safe. Doesn't land it. Doesn't hit it at all. Nats is also just been waiting and wandering right into the crosshair. Bustio. Deep flash on top of it. Needs to be a fight taken and forced out of them through main. Overall popped off. Nats really landing his shots. Precision's there. Seekers earned and a wide face into it. Yampi. Three players onto Arf, uh, on the arcade north side. Shawblazer leads this one in. They are clearly running out of time. Snake bite at his feet. His Hunter's Fury is being used preemptively. I mean, at this angle as well, straight into the spawn. Just too much to really watch for. The nade over the top sails right through. It does collect the kill into tower here. Feeling the heat. EG now, Demon 1 has to take a timing through the smoke. Will it be watched for? Team Liquid are really starting to do the most. Spamming into the smoke, wild. EG, more ults available here. This is the same play that we saw previously from them. Yep, showstopper. Okay, Hunter's Fury into the Rolling Thunder. This time, Jogamo. Good fall there, Red Garcia to contain. It is even fights being taken, but again, Com. It's that last line of defense as he just pushes up onto drop. Catches it onto Yampi. Two players left standing. They know that Nats likes to play in spawn here. And already Bustio's just creeped up towards it, but is Nats going to be aware? That's a question because they have missed each other just like that. Com, you know his positioning as well. Just fired that dart off Snake Bite to collect a kill as well, but no, he's vulnerable up. Shots don't land for Soulcast, left it up to Nats, and look at the discipline immediately. Retreating up to Crossfire setup. As soon as Ethan takes contact, it's going to be a swing from Com. In fact, okay, well, Com just swings out. Well, time's running low anyway. Yeah. They know the round's won. It's just so damn clean. It really is. It's a nice idea. But what utility? How are they getting their way in? And can they stop the post plant setup? That is a nano swarm at their feet, so nobody can follow up through those seekers, by the way. That was laid down earlier. Com does fall, though. That's big. It could be a potential massive opening, but the timing with that fight that Jorgenmo takes is just immaculate. Lucio holding close to Jenny, a bit of a jiggle of the movement. Again, he's got his teammates to back him up. EG. Hans back him with it. Nats, though. Pushing all the way forwards, a bit of a tap onto the spike, forces out the aftershock. There needs to be an attempt and a play towards this one. Still low, Ethan. Last one left. Onto the spike, it's a tap. Damage done, gets him on it. He knows it, he takes the fight again. 
much a lot of control off the side. Nano Swarm set up though. Look at the way this is being played. Soulcast holding it down. Towards the one fight. Wants to try and take it up. Doubled up as well. But Demon One backing away. It's a squeeze. Boostio trying to put the hurt what? on them. What? That was jumping over the top again. They're just fighting and reacting into it. Right up into tower across the ropes. You're not going to be set up for it. Left to just come. And so finally. Another pistol round lost potentially added to the column, but Com's gonna be trying to prevent it. Isolates one of the fights. Where's gonna be that? It's okay. Double face. Again, hold that one line here, but they're just contacting through. Trying to take it. Demon one was crossfire. Oh, the paranoia goes so damn wide. Demon one couldn't quite land that shot. Across their placement wasn't good for it. So Yampi enters himself onto the site. That's gonna be the plan from Solkas. Get themselves into it. Have to hold this back though. It's up to Nats once more. Satchel is so damn wide. He's jumping and skipping it over. Whoa! Can't quite get the two piece. Almost getting it done. Left it into a two on two. EG, this is for the map. Could isolate these kills alone onto the side. That's so gas. Weak enough, he will fall. Sprayed. It's labored. It's messy. Yampi's got the Seekers. Has to use it. Jorgamo onto half. Dodges the flash. Seekers in his face. And he still wins the fight out. It's just so damn clean. 13 to 2. This is the team that got 13 0, by the way. And now putting up close to similar score lines against the number one EMEA seed. Get some momentum behind them. They're all smiles, but sort of converted into a potential win. That's disrespect shown off the rip by Demon One. Takes the fight. Our jet head to head already made manifest. It's a flash to set it up, but again, it's just really a bit scramble, isn't it? It's a bit scrappy. It's contained well by Team Liquid. Com also going for another attempt to yeah! No way in hell! The next level of disrespect, like I was saying. <laughs> um, and at this point, yeah, has to use the TP to get out of there with the deep the deep drone. Tags onto Red Guard. Are they going to push this further? Yeah, well, you're oh, wrong! You're oh, wrong! It was Boosty with the two piece of garage! I couldn't have predicted it, Josh! <laughs> I mean, how could you not, you fool? Team Liquid. There they are. Trying to get a bit of a collapse on into Garage. Red guy is so alone! Line him up for him and take him out. Red guy moment gives us highs, gives us lows. Recall. Star pops up, sets it up for the fight in the ground. Not giving up the space. Here comes through into Drone. All the way through. It was an anti flash position played, but Booster still collects the two kills. Red guy's in the spawn. 20 seconds left. Potential for the round might have just been overcooked entirely. That's his last one left. The plant. Stun. Fault line. Everybody really just unable to play that one. That spam coming straight through the smoke. Nats is able to collect it still with the crossfire setup onto the rifles. Yampi. And Nats are still left alive. They've got to try and stop Demon 1, though. The reposition here is so intelligent. Smoke drop down. He could be anywhere. He leaves Yampi guessing. Where is he pushed for? Crossfire setup. They're trying to re-clear towards spawn. They don't know where he could be. Just misses the timing on that one. That's great from Yampi, though. Both of them have to clear this one. Space granted to them. Left just down to Ethan. Stun in his face. He's got half under the fuse, though. Buys himself some time. Three seconds until the fault line. Has to take a fight, though. Taps it. The 3 2 1 swing. Explore down mid. Yeah, fighting for it. It's a dash used. Give it a boost here. They have to collapse and they have to help him out. There's a Hunter's Fury that was earned prior. Right into the window. It's over like that. Blink. Which has been working for them. Fast plays into B. Jumping around with the knives though, safe, can't quite claim that kill. Bustio locked in towards the back across their placement. It's just set up almost for the three piece, but eventually shut down. Spike was dropped to one side of B. And a lot of map has been compromised. It's that deep look down into C, flash play. Demon one will fall. This is getting a bit awkward. The map's flipped. It's flipped entirely. It's an odd situation. Still eager to take the fight. Ethan is so smart with it. Doesn't open himself up, just continues to spam. Here we go. Right over the top. Zolkas, he needed to force an early fight here, he needed to win it out, he's been revealed entirely. Nats though, he does win his one, he wins the second one, forces it down, and wins it for his team! Shot, just missing, in between, the adjustment couldn't be there for Demon 1, and now he knows. Under attack towards the B site, there's a lot of util being used, lighting up these players into the connector, holding it through, picking up the rifle in the moment, but only the one kill, and not aware of it. That is aggression towards the extremities. Straight into the connectors. Team Liquid, they run their way all the way through. Nats is caught into mid, though. Locked down. Eventually going to be destroyed. And Ethan already knows that this is heading towards A. A 2v2, though. Oh, sorry. 2v3. That's very difficult for them to win. 
Safe being healed up as well. That was the one advantage that EG had. Okay, Red Guard, I mean, he's going for the deep lurk timing here. He doesn't need to miss it. The shot or the kill. Damage being done. Dodging off the flash. The rifle's in their hands as well. Definitely doing the most, but well, it's Team Liquid. So much emphasis being placed towards the Team Liquid. The paranoia, it's just running it straight into it. Ethan, he negates the near side. Still seeking to just again barrel through and disrespect the players that might have been holding further back. A tap onto it. Now seeking to also just try and clear out that, but the right click, it blesses him with the one kill. They give up on that prospect for trying to remove him from that position. Instead, just taking the C site, planting towards the back of it, and Com has already lurked his way to a bit of a further Surely back angle. Not. Surely, Surely not again. Not. The Trailblazer does this clear it. It's being watched for. Safe holds that angle. It's a flash in the face of Demon 1, and it's too much to overcome there. So, 7 for 7. Set up here from EG. Looks like potential for a fast pop into the C site. You can see Util sailing over the top. It's a dash play, flash into the back on top of it. Nana Swarm is layered down as well, so nobody can really flood into this, but he didn't clear the close corner. And the reposition from safe is good, and so is the aim. This guy is crispy, right when his team needed it. Jumping right click, come. Oh my. He finds three in that with a flood attempt to at Team Liquid, and Tolkas with the over rotation. He's like, where's all the players at? Line. Anything to try and win this round out, but it's so damn hard. Safe position being played by Jorgen. Here's a flash. Drops down. Wow, Ethan. Not getting baited by that, is he? Might go for a double up draft play on top of the boxes, but no, just wants to follow the Trailblazer in. Aftershock deep into the corner. Cuts it down. Hunter's Fury. It's offloaded as well. That's Com just using it to try and punish us. Again, the attempt with the retake starts to really get moving and get going. Bustio is going to have to really shut this one down. Just a stinger. He's low, repositions to the side, but eventually traded. There's still a pull. Jorgamo, it's going to be important that he stays alive in this one. Aftershock as well, delaying all this time. Ethan needs to be cleared out of here. Here's the defuse, but again, the pull is online, and there's the damage being done. Time. They have to get onto this right now. The shot to fire. They don't know where Jorgamo is. Here it is. Lanking three. No one playing close now, a lockdown of their own. They have to try and break this one. Comp does not get the kill. Being that backstab, sticking through onto the fuse. Yambi gets half. He's brought down though from the Util. A timing has been poor. And it comes down to spam the bullets. A landing, raining down onto them. Updraft will not save you. Lockdown away. One player detained. It's down to just this. Solkas has to do the most. But he's shut down and that's is detained off to the side. It is half under the fuse. A potential is there. Turret's going to be taking contact. Slowing him all the way down, and there it is. Bustio with four. Pure you the macro play that's going so well here. Nats is pushed up, stunned in his face with the drone. He's traded. Felt like he had to make a play in the moment. Now a rolling thunder through the backside of it. It misses the platform and the cosmic divide. There's a space and a gap. And of course, Redgar jumps right on top of that one. Still, they don't have control of Garage. He goes for the repush anyway. Now's a rolling thunder. They're waiting for it. The transfer cannot be hit. Jorgamo once more lands it safe. He's the last one left. They don't know where he is. Could be backside, could be on the flank. You can feel it in the way that every, everything's just being cleared. Spike dropped down in the middle of nowhere. That is a position you just do not anticipate. Reclearance and a refight. That's a very wide face by Safe. He does not want to lose that one. Takes out Com nice and early, and he knows now that there's some presence from the EG players. And guess what? What do they choose to do? To contact Reclear themselves. Not worried about it. There's a timing in between this, but Solkas is holding that crossfire angle. Safe on top of it as well. Holding that short push. Nats. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. What is occurring here? Demon 1. Demon 1 still alive and kicking, but not for much longer. That's Solkas. Bring it to OT to stay in the series. Aftershock is committed for the turret. Removes it. Dash forwards with the knives. Demon 1 is not quite hitting, but he gets the refresher anyway. With Solkas falling towards the back of the site, any util to set him up, jumping, right click! He brings down Yampi, and no one's facing the backside of it, it's down to just say. He's gonna pick this one up. The piece is all over the place, and maybe forge a round win, but he's gonna do it against Jorgamo and Bustio. Cosmic Divide is online with the plant. Big ult. Maybe enough to seal it. The positioning is all over the place here. Jorgamo, not too sure what he's got available with the utility, doesn't look like too many stars, and he's cleared out the space, smoking the connector. I think Safe's not going to anticipate that he's there. And that's Nanoswarm on the spike at the moment, and Bustio's still got a more. second. Yeah, and it's just delaying. The time here is it's not going to work for Safe. It feels inevitable. Safe is clearing all the usual angles, has to use the dash just to get on top of it as well. Smokes it, has to get half. It's the only way he wins this one. Another smoke used as well, and here comes the pressure applied, the run and gun to finish it. Evil geniuses 
are just not losing maps.